Hello, my friend. Welcome, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Stephanie, and I really appreciate you taking a little bit of time out uh, to spend with me. Now, I know that connecting in this way is not the most ideal because it is nice to be together in community and to meet in person, but I am so grateful that we have the platforms and the technology and, and all the ways that we can still be connected, even in spite of the challenges in our world. And I think that just speaks so highly of the power of love, that despite pandemics and challenges and changes and shifting times, that we find a way to love one another, to show up for one another, to connect with one another. So I feel truly blessed to be spending this moment with you. Thank you. I also want to remind you that after the talk, I will take a short pause and then lead you through a meditation to sort of cap off the experience together. So I hope that you can stay around for that too. So I was reading a quote the other day from Victor Hugo and the, the words really struck me. And so I want to share that with you. And the quote is this, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. And I was thinking, you know, we've had a couple of dark nights or maybe a few dark months. It's just been a little heavy, it's been a little bit dark. And I was wondering, where is the light? Where is that sun? And then one of my kids walked in the room and I realized, well, there's the light. And then I thought about one of my most wonderful friends and I realized she's the light. And then I was thinking about a client that I had seen that day and I realized, well, he's the light. And you know what? You're the light. All of us are the light. We are here to shine for one another, to be that rising star that ends the darkest night. That is our job in this world. But let's face it, fear seems like such a harsh reality and anxiety shackles us and the chains of doubt bind us and the prisons of judgment and the expectations of others contain us and sometimes we feel stuck and oftentimes we can feel trapped and helpless and even hopeless. That's the darkest night. So how can we as individuals and as, as spiritual students learn to free ourselves, to liberate ourselves from that fear? How can we declare our spiritual independence so that we can be that light that shines in the world? And so I prayed about that and I thought about how could I share that with you? And I want to go over that because I think I've got some good ideas that I hope will inspire you. Because remember, you are the light. You are the sun that shines and we need you in this world. So the first step in liberating ourselves and in stepping out of that prison of fear that can sometimes imprison us is to declare our freedom, to declare our independence. So let me tell you about an experience that I had not too long ago. I was looking for a sun hat because I wanted uh, to cover my face. I have delicate aging skin and so I don't like to squint. So I was looking for a hat. Well, we have a, a coat closet where we store these types of things and, and it's pretty high up on a shelf where uh, hats and other things are stored. So I went up and I was reaching and kind of feeling around and I caught what I thought was the brim of the hat. So I tugged on it and as I did, I was assaulted with an aerial barrage of random mittens, gloves, scarves, yoga mats, blocks, a slinky, and a few other stocking caps. All the stuff fell down on me and not one item was my hat. So I was a little frustrated for a moment and then I had to kind of laugh because that's how life is sometimes. We have a dream or a desire or an aspiration or a hope and we start to reach for it. We share a little bit about it and suddenly everybody else's stuff comes pouring down. Well, you could never do that. Well, you shouldn't think that. Oh, how could you? And just like all those random mittens and hats and blocks, we start letting that come down in our space 
and we take it on. So there I am looking for something that's mine and then I've got all this other stuff. So I decided to just pick through all that, to sort it all out, to leave it be, and to take a moment just to think about where my hat could be. Now, as I was doing that, I wasn't judging everybody else's stuff or condemning them for storing things there. I was simply saying, this isn't mine and I don't need to take it on. I want my sun hat. I'm not going to substitute a mitten just because it was there. That's this process of clearing our space and declaring what it is we want without taking on all the stuff of others. When you make that declaration that you are here as the light, that you have this dream, that you have this hope, that you have this vision, when you declare that, you're not diminishing or judging or imprisoning others. You're simply allowing yourself to declare, this is what I am here to be. And you have that right. You have that responsibility as a spiritual being on this planet to know what you want and to allow yourself to be free so you can have that. That is what spirit wants for you. But you can't keep taking on all the stuff of others. You must declare, this is not mine. I will no longer allow myself to take that on or to feel responsible. I am here to breathe and to be me and to experience what it is to be free. So to release yourself from fear and to find that freedom, the first step is simply to declare. I declare, and then we'll decide what it is from there. But you have to first allow yourself to declare that you are free. Now the next step in this declaration or this liberation from the fear that can bind us and from the doubt that can oftentimes enslave us is to know that you are. It's the I am. So what I'd like you to do right now is I want you to take your hands and I want you to place them just right here on your abdomen, just right above your belly button. And just place your hands there for a moment because I want you to feel. Let's see, maybe feel that muffin you had for breakfast. I don't know what, that, that was me. Never mind. Okay. So just place your hands and feel. And then I want you to close your eyes and just take a deep breath. And take another breath and just feel. This is the flash point. This is the seed of your soul. This is the soul fire, the place where spirit first ignited and expressed and created as you. This is spirit in you. And I want you to know that this place inside you is pure, it is untouched, it is always present, it is source energy, and it is love. I am. I am. Nothing can take it, nothing can break it, nothing will ever extinguish it. I am. So I want you to keep your eyes closed for another moment. And just place your hands there. And as you breathe, I want you to say that to yourself and to feel that deep inside. I am. I am. Now, because this is pure energy, this is pure source energy, this is complete. It is the unique, divine, perfect expression of spirit as you, spirit moving through you, spirit of you. So when you are declaring this freedom, when you are liberating yourself from fear, you have the authority to do that because you are spirit. I am. And when we claim that, when we feel deeply within to that source energy, we can see beyond the darkness. We will understand more than what our eyes can perceive. We will know that we are spirit, that we are here to be spirit in expression and to be free. 
So again, just for a moment, I want you to place your hands there and to breathe. I am. I am. And you are. So to relieve ourselves from fear, and to liberate ourselves from the doubt and the anxiety and the uncertainties that bind us, we must first declare what is ours, and then we must remember that I am presence within. So I declare, I am. So that's good, and we're getting there in this experience of freedom and expansion and spirit being the light in the world. We declare it, and we know that we are. But there's more, and the more is right here in your heart. Because this is spirit of you. It's spirit in you. But your heart is the transformer. It's spirit as you. Your heart is that unique essence of spirit that you are in the world. It's your personal mission. It's your passion. Your heart is what guides you to, to know what you love and to know what you're here to do. This is so important in expressing yourself as spirit in the world. You must know what you love. So to understand what that is, to know what the love is in you, to know what this transformative spiritual energy is that expresses as you, consider two things. First of all, what is it that lifts you? Because the things that you love in life will always lift you. If you think about something and you get a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach, not love, indigestion. Okay, no way. It's something else. If you think about something and you feel kind of that butterfly feeling, or if you feel that lightness in your heart, that's love. So the things that we love will always lift us. The things that we love will always bring us a sense of light. So if something lifts you, if it makes you feel a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter, then you know that's your love. Now, love can be so many different things. Maybe what you love is nature. Maybe what you love is being with animals. Maybe what you love is being able to teach. Maybe what you love is sharing your art or creating. I don't know what it is that you love, but you do. It's deep inside you. And no matter how much anxiety you may struggle with, or no matter how many difficulties you've had to overcome, there is that love inside you. There is that mission that is expressing through you. There is that passion that is you. And I want you to put your hands on your heart right now and just breathe. And together, let's take a moment to feel into what is that love. What is that unique thing that lifts you and that lightens you? What is that unique thing that is spirit moving as you? What is your mission in this world? So just close your eyes and take a deep breath and feel your heart. And think about what is it that makes you smile? What is it that makes you laugh? What is it that you can call to mind when you feel better, feel lighter? What is that? I'll tell you, that's love. That's love. And maybe sometimes love can be reflected to us as another person. But the truth is, the love that is inside you doesn't need anything on the outside. It's always there within you moving through you, breathing through you, expressing as you. You are love. You just are. So just close your eyes again and think about what is it? What is it that lifts you? What brings you light? That's love. Ah, it feels so good to be in that heart space. It just does. 
So as we overcome fear, and as we move through the darkness of doubt and uncertainty, we first declare, we clear the space. Declare sounds like clear, so it's easy to remember. We declare, remember, I am. And then we find that love. We feel into that space of lightness, that lift that is spirit expressing as us. So as we liberate and declare this, it, it goes something like this. I declare, I am, and then whatever your unique love is. I declare, I am joyful. I declare, I am here to be an advocate for nature. I declare, I am here to laugh. I declare I am here as peace. I declare I am love. Whatever it is for you, I want you to declare it now. Because you see, that's the final step in this process of liberating ourselves from fear. Thinking about it and working through that, you know, the declaration and the I am and then thinking about what that love is, it's like setting the kindling for the fire, or, or receiving the gift, or, or baking the cake. But when you say it out loud, that's lighting the fire. That's opening the gift. That's eating the cake because you baked it. That out loud, that speaking, that voice, when you put that out into the world, you make manifest, you activate that spiritual power that is you. That's opening the prison and stepping out and being free. So I want you right now to say out loud, I declare I am mm, whatever it is that you are. And it doesn't have to be one word. It can be a phrase. It, it can be a, a single word, whatever it is. And you don't have to say it out loud to another person. You can say it to the wall, but say it out loud because that empowers that, that brings it to life. And I want you to do that. And then after you've done it, I want you to write it down. I want you to post it. I want you to say it so that then I can declare it with you. Because when we can hold that space for one another, we can all share in that light and we can lift each other. That's what community is. So I declare, I am here to love and support you. What do you declare? What are you? Share that, say it, be that, bring that light into this world. I know, I know that there are dark nights. And I know that sometimes you might struggle. And I know that there is pain. And I know that there is suffering. But I know that the sun will rise. I know that the light will shine. And I want you to remember that you can declare that. That you are that. That you love that. And then I want you to remember that each and every day as you move through these challenging times in our world. I know you are love. Namaste. So, let's now take a few moments to quiet and to settle down. So that we can spend just a few quiet, reflective moments in meditation. So wherever you are, if you're comfortable, go ahead and just close your eyes. Relax. Be still. Be still. Take another deep breath. And this time as you exhale, I'd like you to relax your shoulders. Hmm. And then soften your jaw. So 
to see if you can unwind anything that might be tight. Just let everything feel very soft. Be still. Be still. And as you continue to breathe, slow and easy, I just want you to turn your attention inward. Feel the rise and fall of your chest. See if you can even notice the beating of your heart. And take your attention down, down to the core of who you are. Right down below the ribs, where there's a little flame that flickers, where there's a light that shines. where the spirit dwells within you. And I want you to imagine that as a pure, beautiful white light, like the dancing flame of a candle. Just see that light. Imagine it, beautiful flame, dancing brightly, shining and free. And then as you continue to watch that dancing flame, as you see that light, I'd like you to imagine that it expands and that as you breathe, this light begins to grow and it glows more brightly, becomes more luminous and it expands. And it moves up through you. And all around from within you. But see this light. It shines. And as you watch this beautiful light. It extends up through your heart. And as it does so, it begins to change in color. This pure white light moves through your heart. And it streams with color. Pinks and reds, purple and blue, every color of the rainbow is Pour it into that light as it moves through your heart and rises up from deep within you. And then that beautiful rainbow of love, that wonderful essence of spirit, moves up. And then begins to shine, emanating from you, like a lighthouse, a beacon, shining in the darkness, the light in the storm. And 
and you can see and feel all these colors now shining from you and then wrapping all around you so that not only are you filled with light but you are surrounded by light this beautiful prism of spiritual light wraps all around you as you shine with love. For the next few moments, see that light. Imagine that rainbow ribbon wrapping all around you. Soft and loving, powerful and strong. Everything you need and more is right there. Receive it. Breathe it in. This is the light that you are. And now, very slowly, very gently, knowing that light is always surrounding you, knowing that that light is eternally, everlastingly contained within you. Slowly now. I'd like you to open your eyes. And see the light. See love. You are free. You are. Namaste. I just want to say again, I declare I am so thankful for you. Thank you for joining me so much. Namaste.